Hello all, welcome to part 13 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the different forms of APIs. So let's get started. So what are the different forms of APIs? There are three different forms of APIs like web APIs, local APIs and program APIs. Let me first explain about the web APIs is the first form of API. Okay, so it's also known as web services. Web APIs are nothing but another name for web services, guys. Okay, just a terminology. Okay, you can call the web services as web APIs because these APIs use, okay, internet that is HTTP or HTTPS protocol for communication. Okay, so they communicate over internet or web using HTTP or HTTPS protocol. These are web APIs, guys. Okay, so to access this uh, APIs, okay, we have to use internet or web. Okay, and then can access the APIs. Okay, these are web APIs, which are also known as web services. Coming to the local APIs, okay, as the name speaks, local, okay, they are local, okay, as the name speaks, local APIs are local, okay. Example, for example, uh, OS that is operating system, for example, I am using Windows uh, 11 operating system. This Windows 11 operating system is going to provide some local services to the application programs. For example, I installed Evernote here on the top of Windows 11, I installed a software known as uh, uh, ever not using the exe file now how this software is able to run on the windows 11 because windows 11 operating system is providing some local services okay which are communicating with this ever not software okay it, it can be any software guys. just an example i am giving os provides its local services to application programs installed using exe files on the top of them okay so here the communication is happening between this o operating system that is windows 11 and ever not or any other software is based on the local APIs, okay? They don't need any internet. This is happening in the local, okay? Local machine. Another example I can give, uh, desktop applications interacting with another desktop application by providing middleware local APIs. There may be some situations where, for example, you have MS Office, okay? Microsoft Office you installed, and uh, there's another software, guys, another desktop application software uh, on installing on the top of MS Office, right? It gets integrated. Okay, with the MS Office and will give you more options in the MS Office. Let's say uh, there is some softwares like Workshare, Professional Line, like that all, okay, that you can install on the top of the MS Office. So here, this application, desktop application, integrating with another desktop application by providing middleware local APIs, okay? The same machine, two softwares exist and the first you are installing MS Office and this MS Office is providing the middleware local APIs here operating system is not providing okay operating system is providing the local APIs to this uh, uh, middleware so middleware software known as uh, Microsoft Office and this Ma Microsoft Office uh, is again providing the middleware local APIs to another software known as uh, window uh, that is a workshare professional and or, or anything okay so on installing that you'll get more options in MS Office and so okay so that kind of APIs, okay, which are local in our machine. Either they can be from the operating system or from another software to another software, okay? They are called as local APIs, okay? They don't need any uh, HTTP or HTTPS protocol for communication, okay? They are local APIs, guys, okay? Now we have another category known as program APIs. So simple thing about program APIs is that, okay? Uh, here, it's not remote, it's remote, guys, okay? Small spelling mistake. Remote program APIs appear to be local by making use of remote procedure calls, okay? So these APIs, okay, the APIs which are in a remote machine, okay? What are program APIs? The APIs which are on a remote machine and but they appear to be local by making use of remote procedure calls, okay? These APIs which are on a remote machine, even though they are on a remote machine, they appear themselves as local. So in the current machine only with the help of or by using something known as remote procedure calls, such kind of APIs, which are remote, but uh, they behave like local with the help of this RPC that is remote procedure calls are known as program APIs, for example, SOAP. Okay, example for this uh, program APIs are SOAP. Okay, so they may be on remote machine, but they simulate like they are on a local machine. Okay, with the help of this remote procedure calls. Okay, so these are the different forms of uh, APIs, guys, web APIs, local APIs and program APIs. So hope you understood all the different forms of APIs in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.